Today I will show you how to highlight moving objects. For more tutorials, make sure to subscribe and without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Place the video on the timeline and choose what you want to highlight. For example, I want to highlight this plane. First, we have to add motion tracking. So select the clip and enable motion tracking. This box will appear. Place that on the plane and resize it. This should be enough. So start tracking. Wait for it to finish and press OK. Now go to Titles, search for the default title and place it on the second layer. Make sure the duration of the title matches with the video, so let's extend it. Select the title and go to Advanced. We don't need the text for now, so let's delete it. And go to Add Shape. Let's add the middle one and remove the text from it too. Scroll down to Shape Fill, this way we can change the color of the shape to black. So go to Color and black. After that is done, resize the shape so it fills the entire screen and scroll back to the top. Change the alignment to the middle, so this way the shape is placed in the middle and we have to make the shape even bigger, so press OK. And using the title group controller, let's increase the scale to 300%. Go back to advanced. Now we need the circle, so go back to add shape and you should find it at the bottom left. At first you won't see the circle because it's the same color as the background, so scroll down to shape fill again, go to color, more, and make it white. Press OK. We don't need this text either, so go back up and delete it. We need the circle to be a little smaller, so select it, and using the sides, make it smaller. Let's place it in the middle. After that is done, press OK. With the title being selected, go to video, and down to compositing. Let's change the blending mode to darken. This way you can see through the white circle. But I want the sides to be visible too. To do that, let's change the opacity to around 60%. Let's move this away and select the circle. Move it on top of the plane. Let's make it a little smaller and place it on top. Now select the clip and change the motion tracking from none to the default title. So this is the final result. You can always play with it to make it more interesting, so I will go to Transitions and search for the Dissolve transition. Let's place it at the start of the title, this way the highlight will appear slowly. You don't have to do all of this each time you want this effect. So first I will remove the transition for now, so right click on it and delete it. Select the title, go to Save as Custom, and let's name it Highlight Effect. Press OK. And now anytime you go to Titles and Custom, you will find it there. So let's say I want to highlight this person, select the clip, enable motion tracking, and place the box on the person. Let's resize it, and start tracking. And press OK. Now go to Titles, and add the Highlight Effect on top. Move the circle on the person, you can resize it if you want, and select the clip. Let's change the motion tracking from none to the highlight effect. Just like that you're done. If you want more Filmora tips and tricks, make sure to watch this other video.